Hi everybody, it's Tim with CNET, and we're here with Panos Panay from Microsoft talking about a couple of new tablets. These are the new surfaces coming on the market. Now from the outside, these two look very similar to what we saw last year, but there have been some pretty significant changes made internally and externally as well. Let's start with the, the new Pro, which is this guy here on my right. Yeah, Pro Surface Pro has been an exciting product for us. It's been a great selling device, and we really looked at it, and as a team thought, man, we got to make some changes, but we should be somewhat subtle in those changes. Mm -hmm. We knew uh, bringing some exciting things like more battery life was important, making it faster was important, larger memory and so forth. So how much more battery life do we have in here? You know, it's anywhere from 60% to 100% more, which is cool because you're now in this place where you can use this thing all day and that's, that's how I use it. It's been pretty exciting for us. And this is stepping up to the new generation Intel chips. How much of that yeah. is offering the battery life versus other You know, Intel I think tools? about 50% of the improvements come okay. from the Haswell update and mm -hmm. so it does have a Haswell processor in it. It's mm -hmm. a really, really cool processor and brings this thing to life. We really did focus kind of every nuance within the product itself to squeeze every ounce of battery life out of it. Here's the kind of marvel of that though. With all the things we did to improve the battery life, we also increased the performance of that thing by about 10%. And if you want even more battery life, you're now going to be offering a, a battery a keyboard case, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We don't have it here, but we have a power cover uh, that you would click in, and it would essentially be two and a half times more battery life than you got on the original Surface Pro. Now, there's some other tweaks as well. I noticed we've got a new kickstand in the back here, which allows you yeah. two levels of... you saw uh, that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. We wanted you to be able to use it on your lap comfortably. So now when you're able to get to that second position, it's about 44 degrees. When you get that thing on your lap with the new covers, which we'll talk about, mm -hmm. you get such great balance and it really comes to life. Another thing that it's great for, you can see how much taller you are than me. The angle for you is much better now. <laughs> Turns out when you design a product, for like a dude that's 5'8", you end up with 22 degrees. <laughs> so this is the new Pro, and then yep. we've also got the new Surface, this is the Surface 2, correct? Yeah, Surface 2 is exciting. This product is a little bit different in philosophy. While they're both designed to be the best productivity tablets you can buy, mm -hmm. we put the best possible front-facing camera in this product so we can light up Skype. And in mm -hmm. low-light scenarios, you can have a great two-way call, and Skype comes to life, which I think is an important kind of piece. We've doubled the bus speed on the product, so on both memory and Wi-Fi. Mm. And then basically, that's like adding more lanes to the freeway when you're on the internet. And have we stepped up to USB 3.0? Yeah, that's very fun. Yeah, we went from 2.0 to 3.0. Both right. products are running USB 3.0, which I think is important because you're basically 10 times faster in transferring files. And USB is one of those subtle pieces of impact on this product where you can just plug in and print, you can transfer files. We get so much feedback on how important that port is for people mm -hmm. that uh, going to 3.0 was an important improvement. We've doubled the pixels on this screen. We have 48% more accuracy. Maybe a different way to say it is, the screen's awesome. We've taken the Surface Pro screen, mm -hmm. we've improved that, and then we've uh, put it right here into the Surface 2 product. That's been exciting. So now it's about three to four times faster of a device. So this thing's lightning fast when you're in office, which comes with Outlook, when you're using Skype, when you're on the web, all these improvements. But with all that, you're right, it's thinner, and it's lighter. And of course, we've got some improved accessories coming out with this too, so let's talk about the, the keyboard covers. We've yeah. got two of them here. These products are interesting. We should start with touch cover. Touch cover is obviously the innovation that we put in where you have the thinnest possible solution for your product, mm -hmm. where you can click in the cover and still be productive. Um, I think clicking it in is just as easy as it was. But what you'll see on the product itself, I don't know if you can get that angle, but we've gone from literally three and a half millimeters to two and a half. It got thinner. Now that's paper thin, that's important because when you close it and put it in your bag, you just kind of want it to disappear. Mm. Yeah. And then this is the type cover, which is only yeah. with actual physical tactile keys on it. This is yeah. significantly different from last year's as well, right? It is, so that is also a millimeter thinner, but that is a little bit different of a reason. Mm -hmm. This product um, is a product people love. It got a millimeter thinner, what that does is allow your key switch to be a little bit shorter. If it's a little bit shorter, we also dampen the sound so it's super quiet. Hmm. So now because it's shorter, it's a quiet keyboard, but it also allows you to type faster. So we're seeing improved typing speeds. If you're gonna be the most productive tablet on the planet, you've gotta have the most productive keyboard. And then on top of that, we've also backlit it. And so now working at night or in the dark, it's backlit, it just looks gorgeous and Great. it's a lot of fun. So they're both backlit now. They're both backlit, and then the, that's right. The battery cover will be similar to this, but a bit thicker and presumably a little bit heavier too. Yeah, the back, the, that comes with a 35 watt hour battery mm -hmm. because we really are putting packing power to the Surface Pro 2 product. And yeah, it's a little bit thicker. But it also works with Surface 2, and it also works with the original Surface Pro. Great. So you click this thing into Surface 2, and you got untold amount of battery life. It's kind of hard. All right, we should probably talk some point. numbers now. When can we expect these, and how much are we going to be paying for them? So we are launching these on October 22nd, but they go on pre-order uh, tomorrow. 
So I think that's exciting for people who want to just get their hands on it. Surface 2 will go out at 449, which is exciting because we'll have Surface 2 at 449 and we'll have Surface RT for those who wanted a 349 product. So the RT stays? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So both will be there, um, both with 8.1, both with Outlook. Mm. Uh, Surface Pro 2 will start at 899. Sounds so. good. And there'll be a new higher memory model as well. I there mean, is, right? yeah. So we go all the way up to 8, eight gigs of uh, memory and 512 gigs of storage. And that's, that's more than my desktop has. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> half a terabyte. <laughs> um, you should also note that both of these products come with 200 gigabytes of SkyDrive for two years. We've also added uh, unlimited uh, international calling with the Skype service and unlimited hotspots with Skype. So Pulling in all the Microsoft tricks. Every service right that, you, that you would really want really comes with it. All right, Panos, thank you so much for bringing these by. I know you're Dude, a very you're busy welcome. man. Thank you so much. And Appreciate again, it. this is Tim from CNET. Hope you enjoyed our overview of the new Surface tablets.